Well, coming up this Friday, people in Abilene will be able to ride to work and raise more awareness for motorcycles and scooters on the road. So here to tell us more is Jill Christie and Elisa Smetnano. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for joining us today. Part of TxDOT and the Abilene Metropolitan Planning Committee. When we talk about motorcycles and scooters and you think oh well we see them on the roads all the time but really it's it, it's a growing concern when we talk about sharing the road with fellow drivers because they're just they're smaller in size and it's just something you don't see and we get in a hurry and our, our days are so fast that you just you get in a hurry and you pull out and before you know it, you're in an accident and it's involving someone on a motorcycle a scooter or some kind of motorized um, Apparatus. Yes. So thank you for having us, yes. first of all. Um, in 2021, in the Abilene District, we had 130 crashes involving a motorcycle. That's a lot. That is too That's many. like half the year. Yes. So 41 of those motorcyclists had serious injuries, and seven of those were fatalities. Wow. Six of those were in Taylor County. Six so, in Taylor County. That's exactly right, in 2021. Every other month so, is how you break that down. And that's are, just too many. That is way too many. So we are here, have amazing partners raising awareness about motorcycle safety, and so we have this event. So coming up, this is, you said the year 31, is yes, that right? Okay. It is. So we talk about the, the first ride to work day back in 1992, and here we are 31 years later. We think about, we, we've been sharing the road for a long time. Motorcycles are nothing new, but it seems that there are more and more drivers out there. And like we said, we're in a bigger and bigger hurry. And so what are we doing in this event? So we are gonna show up at the Expo Center and it's 11 o'clock on Friday. And uh, we'll meet there. We'll take a group picture at 11.20. 11.30, we'll kick stands up and we'll have the Abilene Police Department escorting us to, and Ted Stott, escorting us to Kent's Harley-Davidson for a free meal, so you can't beat that. You can't beat that. And you know, of course, riding in a group is, is sometimes a much safer way of going because it's easier to see a group of motorcyclists. And when we talk about motorcycle safety, you know, to obtain your motorcycle license, you have to take courses. That's you have exactly to right. be um, specially licensed to ride a motorcycle mm -hmm. on public streets mm -hmm. and whatnot. So it's not so much about the motorcyclist, it's more about the rest of us who have a, a standard Texas driver license. Well, that's true, but also we are seeing more motorcyclists with the increase price of uh, fuel um, and so yep. like what Elise and I have, have just recently been talking about you know you may have some um, unexperienced drivers out there and so we just really encourage everyone to look twice for them those motorcyclists pay attention put your cell phones down um, and share the road you know, there's so many things we can do to take those precautions, and it doesn't take much time. In fact, if anything, it, it, it provides us a little more time, and it certainly gives them a bit better opportunity. Because, like you said, six deaths in Taylor County just last year. That's right. That's just I mean, that's one every other month, and yes. that's really too much. And these are these are fellow drivers of Texas roads, and so we want everyone to be able to drive mm -hmm. safely, whether it's to save gas or it's more efficient for them, or they just enjoy, enjoy the wind the in their that's hair. That's exactly right. <laughs> with the warmer weather, that's right. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. you, you need that regular breeze. So we want everyone to come out and join in yes. on this. Uh, again, this is going to take place on Friday morning. You've had a big turnout in years past? Definitely. We, we have. We had quite a few people. Uh, last year, the weather didn't cooperate quite as well as we would like, but uh, hopefully everybody will get out and join us. And it's, it's a very short, you know, a couple of hours out of the day. And just think that everybody that rides a motorcycle is a, a mother, a father, a sister, yeah. a brother, I mean, somebody's Someone cares lied. about them. Definitely. All right, we want them all to come out and take part in this and, uh, and enjoy sharing the roads with our fellow drivers. Ladies, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Uh, there's no really criteria other nope. than it's a motorized uh, vehicle, you know, motorcycle right. or scooter, and uh, of any brand, you, any make you like. That's exactly <laughs> That's right. right. Come out and join this ride. It begins at the Taylor County Expo Center. It ends at Kent's Harley-Davidson. It is on Friday, June the 17th, meeting at 11 a.m., and then the free lunch will be provided after the ride at Kent's Harley-Davidson.